Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Blanca, and this is my garden. You guys, January 3rd, 2021. Woo, happy new year. Happy new year, everyone. Um, I wanna tell you guys, I don't know about you, but I am so optimistic for the new year. I mean, it is January 3rd, uh, 2021. I am back in Miami. I took a little bit of a, little bit of a break. I actually just got back last night. Um, went with my family up north. I uh, had some quality family time. It's been about two weeks and I am finally back home and it's so good to be back. It's so good to be back when it's warm. It is probably 80 degrees right now. Hot for many, but to me it is perfect. Um, especially when you're coming home from very cold weather. And before I left, it was actually really cold. That's why I wasn't out here. Um, so it's so nice to be back in the garden, you guys. I wanna um, walk around. I wanna. Uh, share with you guys uh, what's new, what's growing, um, how my orchids are thriving without any water or fertilization for about a month. Um, it was really cold, so when it's that cold, I don't like to water them, and um, and especially not fertilize. I fertilize once a week, but it's been a while, so I want to say my orchids have not gotten a good fertilizing um, probably in about a month. So today's gonna be the day I'm gonna water, I'm gonna fertilize, I'm gonna spend most of my time out here in the garden because it has been a while. Um, so I'm gonna walk around, we're gonna walk around together and just see what is going on. I can tell you that my sherry baby is still in bloom. Four beautiful spikes full of flowers and it's been in bloom for a while. Um, I can tell you that probably now in 2021, I am going to be, um, probably attaching more sherry babies i love the way they look i love the way they smell and they actually thrive they actually do amazing mounted um, those my dendrobiums and my fowls i love to have them mounted because they love it so there you go that's my sherry baby in bloom and she's been in bloom for a while now i did um, attach a lot of other cuttings um, which are starting to also spike up and they do take a really really long time to bloom so um, expect to see a flower spike on a sherry baby for about two months before it starts to flower. So I have also here many other many sherry babies mounted also and I've got some flowers in them. Now not all of these are, same, are the same sherry babies. I've got cocoa peach, I've got sherry baby redolence, I've got um, the uh, the sherry baby heaven heavenly scent I want to see or sweet fragrance. So I've got a bunch of different hybrids um, just mounted on all over and I want to touch more. Of course I do. <laughs> so my fowls, my fowls are starting to all spike. That's a long flower spike right there. Not sure what color that is because I have them everywhere. And when I started mounting them, I didn't even think of putting them color coordinated. So I'm going to have many different colors when as they start to bloom, but that's okay. and then let's see my orchid section you guys yes i still have not moved this i asked my husband and my son to please move this around right before we left and of course it got crazy with christmas and it never got done so hopefully this will be the week when all of my vandas get um get relocated because i do feel that in this spot they are getting a lot of sun and i'm seeing a lot of yellowing leaves so my vandals are still there. I have got nothing in bloom except for this, um, this vanda right here, which was in bloom before I left. So she's been, um, she's been in bloom for about three weeks. Look at the colors on her. She smells amazing. She smells like jasmine and grape. And she is, oh my goodness, she smells really good. And she is from Bangjong Orchids, which is one of my favorites. And this is a Vanda Denisoniana, Denisoniana with Pumilla and Mimi Palmer. So there you go. She's still blooming. Nothing else is in bloom. Nothing else um, is in spike. And to me, you know, my Vandas did really well when I had them, when I had them attached, um, where I had them hanging from my windowsill. Ever since they're out here, they seem to be happier, but I'm not getting as many blooms, so. I had them in here, which was darker, so I thought that was the problem. I brought them out here, which now I think is too much light. And then they're going to go back in there, and then we'll see what happens. So 
let's see let's see let's see how that goes my cat layers this year have not bloomed for me as much and i've got a brand new flower spike on this one this vendor right here which i am not sure where the tag for that one is but i can tell you because of the pot it also came from bang jung and this is a really really big flower spike right there ah there you go that's my ascacenda succamarin spots i see her tag now this is a pretty one not fragrant but it's very very pretty let's see i've got sorry i got attached here i got other orchids here which are my cattleyas which are some of my Ancidiums, which is my coconut orchid, which is the um, Maxillaria tenifolia, which is growing really nicely. All my Dendrobium anosmums are starting to drop leaves. And, and this beautiful Ancidium, which is my rosy sunset F, which still has a flower spike that I saw last time and has a few other spikes in here all right my catleas are quiet so yeah you guys this year um well not this year but um 2020 um was not a very good year for my, my mountain catleas i usually get i usually get a lot of um beautiful blooms especially from this girl right here which is my uh, sarah palin hockey mom so this year she has not bloomed um i can't even remember last time she bloomed and normally she does bloom in november um, but nothing um, nothing this year. So hopefully it's not um, that she's sick or anything It's just that maybe this wasn't a good year for her, you know orchids do go through their through their um, through their cycles and I have noticed that um Some years are more fruitful than others <laughs> There's some years where my orchids go crazy other years where they're more quiet. So I just guess it's just a cycle Because I'm not doing anything different. So Who knows? Who knows? You learn something every time at least i do <laughs> i'm not an expert you guys my brassavola is already out of bloom so that is ooh, and then i've got a little flower for me here on my talansdia bulbosa look at this this is so pretty this one also came from bang Jong. And even in their smallest, um, in their smallest plants, they always add the pretty holy pot. All right, my driftwood is doing good. And you guys asked in the last video, what were these orchids here? So these are, and right now they don't look, they don't look too good because I haven't been here. So all these have a bunch of um, fallen leaves on them. But these are my, um, my cymbidiums. So you guys said that some cymbidiums do good attached, which I will probably attach these. I just want to have them here and um, kind of acclimate them a little bit before I attach them. So that's my cymbidiums right there. And, um, and we'll see how that goes. And then as far as my driftwood, I'm getting some flower spikes from this mini fowl. Uh, driftwood is looking good. It's being kept hydrated right, right under here. And then I've got this beauty, which is still in bloom, which is my fowl. I think this is a gigabell. So this is probably the foul gigabell. And look at how vibrant these colors are. So I did get a new phone for Christmas. And this is the first video that I make with it. And I can already tell you I am loving, loving the way that the colors look and everything looks so, so pretty. Anyway, so let's keep walking. It feels good to be home. Huh feels so good to be home you have no idea I mean I love to go on vacation I love to go away with my family my kids and um, but once I get home it's like wow I'm so happy let's see so a lot of my um, a lot of my orchids a lot of my fowls that I keep in baskets are starting to sprout and these I just keep under here like in a shaded area just because sometimes I don't mount everything now we're going to turn the corner here and this is my vanilla orchid look at that stalk i'm going to go around 
it is growing really nicely look at that this is the first time i've ever had a vanilla orchid and i actually got her last um i got her in 20 did i get her in 20 probably 2019 but look at that um that stalk how nice it's getting and i love the way it looks so i can't wait until she creeps all the way up because it's so pretty that's my vanilla orchid all right Ooh, we've got some pretty blooms right here from this fowl, which is another one that I have inside one of my baskets right there. Look at that. Wow. Look at those colors. <laughs> that is beautiful. And it's got multiple spikes. And this is where she's been kept. So she's in a very um, shaded area right here um, by my jasmine, my jasmine vine. And, and they're doing really nicely. So what I do is that I get these, um, I buy these at uh, Heavenly Garden, which is a nursery here in, um, in Miami, Florida, probably the Redlands area. Either Redlands or Homestead, not sure. Um, but they have amazing fowls. And after I have them, um, after uh, their flowers fade, I go ahead and I either um, attach them on my palm or I put them inside baskets and they do amazing and they just flower all the time. I've got a beautiful broom, broom, I've got a beautiful bloom from my Valera Big Shot Hilo Sparkle, there you go. And this Valera has been, it's been blooming this year a lot. And these are all of my Oncidium. This is my Pacific Waters Paw Pride with another flower spike. Oh, my twinkle. It's finally out of bloom. So this, um, this little twinkle right here, this is a little flower. So this one took forever, forever, forever um, for the flowers to bloom. I mean, it had these spikes, I want to say for like three or four months. And then it finally bloomed. And then the blooms do last a long time once they, once they open. And I can't find the tag now. I can't find the tag for this one now, but it's already faded. And then here is my gumbo limbo tree, which let's see what's blooming on here. So my, I have another Bolera Big Shot Hilo Sparkle right here. And this one gave me multiple blooms. And then you have the other one that's inside a clay pot over there, which is also blooming. So these are very pretty and they are fragrant. Yes, they are fragrant. Kind of smell like um, the Milton Neopsis. Such a pretty flower. Look at that. And they do smell like really rosy. Mm. So they are fragrant and they're so, so pretty. And um, these actually as you can see, are attached, so they like to be attached, they like to be out here. Milton Neopsis, not too much. Those I keep inside my bathroom, and those are still in bloom, believe it or not. And then I've got another flower spike from another fowl. There you go. All right, so I want to bring you over here because I did spot this beautiful fowl in bloom look at that now she is mounted on my oak tree and I mean even when you think that they look so dry and they look um like so unhealthy because you kind of walk out here and everything looks so dry it really does I mean look how ugly that looks but uh, these are the leaves on this beautiful white fowl and look at this flower spike you guys and look at the size of these buds isn't that amazing? I mean, you, you think, um, well, the leaves are good, but you think that they're going to die. And then all of a sudden they, um, they start sprouting and they, they bring out the most beautiful flowers. I mean, look at this white fowl. So elegant. I love it. Love, love, love. Here's another white fowl, which comes from, <laughs> from this one. I'm telling you, they look so ugly, but they don't. They, they're not dead, I promise you. 
look at how beautiful these flowers are and these are completely ignored once i mount them i don't even look at them and then all of a sudden i'm walking the garden and boom i see flowers i mean look at that perfect so these are some of my fowls on my oak tree you guys can mount them if you live somewhere um, that the climate is good and it's not too cold uh, you can mount your fowls and they will thrive on neglect you don't even have to worry about them you don't even have to look at them and you will get flowers uh, let's see I've got some rescue bandas I rescued these from my own collection and I put them here and nothing's going on You guys, we just recently took down the, a wood fence, so now we're in the process of putting something there to get some privacy back. All right, so those were my orchids on my on my oak tree. Now we're back to around my pool area, which I have my Christmas palms, and I've got some dendrobium buds right there. I've got some more foul spikes. Oop too close there you go more foul spikes now I do like to put um, when I attach all of this Spanish moss and it just multiplies but also protects from the Sun look at that more blooms on that one so we are officially entering foul season which for me, my fowls bloom all, they all bloom, they all, they all look the best between um, late January and February is when I have all of my fowls in bloom. Let's see, this is my fowl treat right here, which looks a little dry, I know, it does look a little dry, um, but I will get some flowers. I will get some flowers and I have to do a little bit of maintenance so today which is um which is nice and warm I'm gonna be out here just um, trimming and and getting um, some of my orchids looking better I'm back here where my vanilla one is here are more sherry babies more than Jovium Nobilis. And that's it, you guys. This is my garden in January of the year 2021. It's gonna be a great year, you guys. It is gonna be a great year. Um, I am hoping, you know, with all the craziness of the holidays, I did not get go out to any of the nurseries, but I am hoping um, to make it out there soon so I can um, just show you guys what's new out there. Um, I'm dying to go see. I'm dying to go visit. Um, dying to go visit Bang Jong, a Heavenly Garden, RF. Um, just my my. Oh, and look at the size of that lizard. Um, just like my regular um, orchid nurseries here in um, in my area. So I do want to go see what's going on out there. Maybe they've got some new orchids that I can share with you guys. But um, like I said, the holidays are always crazy and I was not able to go out there um, before then. But I do think I'm going to have more time now in the new year. At least this month is not so busy for me so I can make more videos and I can um, go shopping more and bring you with me. So um, that's it, you guys. This was today's video. First video of 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what kind of videos you want me to make for you. I know, I know. I'm dying to make do an unboxing. I need to do an unboxing. I need to go shopping. All those videos are going to be up, um, are going to be coming soon. And um, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful week ahead. And I will hopefully see you soon in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.